a sequencing batch reactor the appropriate system for you? It may well be, especially if you're interested in lower capital cost, a compact plant layout, and ease of operation. And what you've heard is true. There's something new out there. It's the Wagner Air O2 SBR, and it's up and running in Perry Township, Fayette County, Pennsylvania. New isn't always better, but we'd like to spend the next several minutes showing the system to you. Then you decide. Take a look. Wagner Fluid Systems has partnered with Aeration Industries and together they have developed a new SBR design which integrates Aeration's unique Air O2 Triton Process Aerator Mixer into Wagner's proven SBR system design. The Wagner Air O2 SBR is unique because of its ability to mix and aerate in a single unit, resulting not only in capital investment savings, but operational savings and improved process flexibility as well. My name is Terry Soster. I'm president of KLH Engineers, a Pittsburgh-based environmental consulting engineering firm. KLH was retained by the Perry Township Municipal Authority to complete the construction phase of their new wastewater treatment plant. One of the first activities undertaken by KLH was to review and approve the use of an alternative SBR equipment supplier, Wagner Fluid Systems. The project uh, was successfully started and at this time new customers are coming onto the system daily. The Perry Township layout consists of only three concrete tanks. The two batch reactor tanks are each equipped with a 10 horsepower Triton aerator mixer designed to remove BOD and ammonia. The sludge holding tank is equipped with a 5 horsepower Triton unit to provide aeration and mixing. Each reactor also contains a Wagner decanter. This unique four-sided stainless steel decanter moves up and down during the decant phase, producing a controlled and high-quality flow of effluent. The Triton consists of a 900 RPM electric motor coupled to a dynamically balanced hollow shaft and a unique two-propeller arrangement to optimize mixing and to optimize fine bubble formation. There is also a sealed regenerative blower on the system. The unit floats on pontoons and a slide rail system which accommodate the SBR's varying water levels and allow equipment inspection and maintenance to be done from the surface. The system is easily maintained because all of the mechanical equipment is accessible from the top of the basins. There are no components at the bottom of the basins and no need to drain or enter the basins for service. And noise? As this decibel meter reading shows, there is none. In comparison, the meter reading on the left shows the Triton in operation, while on the right, the meter is measuring the level of a normal conversation. The SBR system has a lesser environmental impact, particularly relating to noise. The wastewater treatment plant is located immediately adjacent to a rails to trails facility, a bicycle trail that leads from Pittsburgh to Washington, D.C. There are many bikers that pass by the plant and the noise levels are imperceptible. Based on the fill and draw principle, the SBR cycle consists of five steps. Fill, react, settle, decant, and idle. Each four hour cycle includes 15 minutes of fill and anoxic mix where the mixer only portion of the aerator is in operation. 120 minutes of fill and aeration where the full aerator mixer is in operation. 45 minutes of settling with the aerator mixer in standby and 60 minutes of decant with the decanter in operation and the aerator mixer in standby for a total of six cycles per day. And in the future as United States permit requirements change the Triton unit can easily be upgraded to meet those requirements. The federal and state regulatory community is looking towards making nutrient requirements a must in Pennsylvania. The equipment provides a flexibility in the future for a mixed non-aerated SBR cycle that will allow the facility to comply with biological nutrient removal requirements without any additional capital expenditures. It's been a win-win experience for Perry Township. The new Wagner Air O2 SPR design has provided a more cost-effective, compact plant 
that is easy to operate and to maintain. The benefits speak for themselves. SBR cycle that will allow the facility to comply with biological nutrient removal requirements without any additional capital expenditures. It's been a win-win experience for Perry Township. The new Wagner Air O2 SBR design has provided a more cost-effective, compact plant that is easy to operate and to maintain. The benefits speak for themselves.